Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and um, my orders from Ellen Hudson came in. Uh, this is what I ordered and um, these two are the um, new release by Essentials by Ellen and um, I think this is a new release as well. It says beautiful and it already comes in like the magnetic uh, thing and um, their pouches are really really thick and I didn't realize how thick it is but it's really great quality um, uh, stamp storage case um, they sell these actually I think I'm gonna get some they're super super thick okay and then I got this this was from her last release and I've been wanting this for a while and um, I got these two of course and there was more that I wanted but um, they were sold out and um, so I'll probably go back later they came super fast um, Ellen ships pretty fast and um, so today I wanted to do this use this I've been dying to um, use this image because it's so big so I wanted to just uh, do coloring I'll be only doing coloring today so I'm not going to complete a full card okay guys now I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this because I do want to fast forward it uh, it did take me about an hour to color this and I don't think you want to sit here and watch me color for an hour and um, I prepped this watercolor cardstock using the powder tool and now I'm embossing it using white embossing powder so I'll be doing some watercoloring using the Zig Clean Color Brush Markers and I'm only using two colors I'm using purple and deep purple, which is uh, the darkest of the purple, I, I believe. And I'm only putting a little bit of color towards the inner part of the petal and dragging the color out using water and uh, my brush. I do want the um, edges of the petal lighter. So I'm using uh, this right here is a number four round. And later on, I'll also be using a, a number zero round. So I'm kind of still getting used to these markers. But I did notice that the colors are very intense and bright. And um, I love that. Because uh, with one color, you can create the dark, medium, and light depending on how much water you use. So I think that is a plus. So you don't necessarily need such a large pack because of the fact that you can create those light colors uh, by adding more water. So like I said, I'm still kind of getting used to this, um, the, the intense, intensity of the color. And I'm kind of putting only a little bit, ba basically just outlining it and then dragging it out. This flower, um, is a good flower to practice with because um, it's a really large flower. So um, I had a lot of fun uh, coloring this and I've been actually kind of obsessed with uh, coloring with these markers. It's very fun. And I've only used, I think, uh, out of the whole set, I think I only use maybe like eight colors. But, um, so this right here is the, the deep violet, the darker purple. So again, I'm outlining um, just slightly towards the um, inner part of the petal. And I'm bringing it out a little bit more using this detail brush. I think I put too much color down actually um, so maybe next time I won't put as much color I do kind of struggle with coloring uh, with white lines I mean water coloring with white lines and um, water coloring with no lines at all 
I do kind of um, still need more practice on it. So I do have a paper towel right next to me and I'm constantly wiping it off so that I don't have too much color on my brush so that the petal just doesn't become just one color. So I wanted uh, the inner part of the petals to be a lot darker and um, the outer edges a lot lighter. So I'm still practicing, um, so I've been doing a lot of coloring. Here I just put the really dark purple right in the center here. And um, these markers will never permanently dry. You can still add water and move the color around. So I'm still going in certain parts to blend it out. In here, I'm adding a little bit of detail using the fine uh, brush point, and um, that's one good thing about these markers as well. So this basically finishes off uh, my coloring for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye!